Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the rubbing alcohol styrofoam powered boats. What you need for this experiment is rubbing alcohol, a pipette or an eyedropper, a rain gutter, or if you don't have that, a long pan or dish, a soap proof foam lunch plate, uh, dish soap is optional if you're going to do the soap boats, and water. So here's the information from the Journal of Chemistry of Education in the link, and you get more information there. All right, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. So I've got a, a gutter I got at a local um, uh, Home Depot, uh, Lowe's gutter, two ends. It's going to hold the water in, filling it up with water, as you can see. Doesn't have to be all the way full. And what we're going to do is you guys have seen, I'm sure you've seen, if not, it's in the description. Um, there it goes, it's my cat, little cameo. Um, I'm sure you've seen the uh, soap boats where you make a little boat like this um, out of a styrofoam plate and uh, and then you put soap on it and it, it'll shoot and go. But we're going to do a little bit different here. We're going to use um, rubbing alcohol. And so we're going to see how um, it can go maybe the full distance and how fast, and then we'll compare it against the soap boat to see how far it goes too. So I hope you enjoy this, and remember to leave comments in below, and to subscribe as I do a new video every week. So I, just, <laughs> so I realized uh, I got a white gutter, and I have a white uh, boat, so you won't be able to see it. So what I did is I, for the purposes, so we were able to see the experiment, I've actually colored it with a Sharpie, um, it's two layers, and I'll show you how to make that in a second if you don't know how. And so what we're going to do is set up the experiment, and then we're going to try it out. Here's the dimensions for the boat I use. There's actually two pieces. There's one solid and one cut out like that. And then you just glue it, um, either with a glue stick or some kind of glue, together. So here's our first experiment with the rubbing alcohol. You put the, the styrofoam boat in right there, put the rubbing alcohol in, and off to the races. So here we go. We have a 5-foot, 1.52-meter uh, gutter. There, it's done. I'm just turning it around. No extra fuel, and it keeps going. Now, of course, it was about 8 seconds the first time, and it looks like the second time is going to be about 19 seconds, um, as I've already done the time on it. And but it's still going to keep going, so uh, which is pretty cool. So it gets there, there, there's your 19 seconds. I turn it around and it still has fuel, it's still going, and it's still going to pump through. Now I'm going to kick it into uh, um, fast motion here uh, because you don't want to um, sit around and watch the boat go, but it does take a very long time 35 seconds this time to go five feet. But it's not done, so I turn it around, and it gets a little bit more of a burst, and I don't think it's going to have enough to make it a fourth time, and it actually is going to come to an end about right here, which was about 18 feet, so it's about 5.49 meters, which is pretty far for one uh, shot of rubbing alcohol. The cool thing is you can continue to do this, um, unlike the, the soap boats, keep putting the rubbing alcohol on it and the boat will continue to go so that you don't have to change your water where with the soap boats once you're done you have to change the water out every time so that's interesting so here we are we're going to do the soap boat this time i'm actually going to um fill the soap in on the uh first top part of it but i'm going to flip the boat over so all the fuel of the soap can break down the surface tension and take off so it will be upside down this time but it will help so we start off with the soap. It starts off a little slow, but um, starts to take off right there. You can see all that soap is breaking down the surface tension and really getting it to go. Um, I thought it went a lot farther than I thought, but it still took 17 seconds compared to eight seconds, and it didn't make it all the way. But it wasn't done. So when I turned it around, it still had a little bit more to go, which really surprised me because usually, um, you know, I had to turn it around a couple times. But um, usually once the soap's in the water and it breaks that surface tension down, it does not go any farther. So uh, maybe because I had so much more water um, inside the gutter, but it kept going and um, it couldn't quite make it two times. Um, so it was about half the distance. So it went eight and a half feet instead of 18. 
a little under two and a half. So, uh, but that was pretty cool. Now here's the part that doesn't work. I reloaded up with soap, put it in the water, and it will not go anywhere because the surface tension is uh, broken down. Same with the, the rubbing alcohol. I put it on with the soapy water and it doesn't go. So here's what it looks like uh, against the side of the wall. You put the rubbing alcohol in and you can see it really jet out as it's pushing the water. That's how it gets to go so quick. And it's a pretty cool visual right there. Well, I hope you enjoy this experiment uh, with the rubbing alcohol and boats. It's um, a really fun one. It always is fun to always see that some kind of fluids or waters always are the best experiments. So as you saw in the video, I was about um, three times, I went a little over three and a half times, I went back and forth, which is about 18 feet. So if you have a longer gutter, give it a try. Let me know how far you get to go um, with your uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, boat, or give it a try with your, your soap boats and see that soap boat almost made it one and a half times a little farther. Um, but give it a try. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.